Hi, welcome back to Stories at Work, a series where I've been telling you stories to help you build your story bank. Today's story is about running. Last Sunday was the Mumbai Marathon and my Facebook feed is awash with all the great news about my colleagues and ex-colleagues and friends, you know, with all their achievements. And one of the biggest uh, news is Sub4. The big buzz is Sub4. And this reminded me of another Sub4 buzz many, many decades ago. Now, in the 1950s, the popular belief among doctors, athletes, uh, physiotherapists, etc., anyone who understood the human body, was that it was impossible to run a mile in less than four minutes. But there was one guy in the UK, Roger Bannister, who had a passion for running and he did not believe that this couldn't be done. Now, in 1945, the mile record had been pushed down to four minute, 1.6 seconds but it stood there for the next nine years. No one had broken it, but Roger Bannister believed it could be done. In 1952, in the Helsinki Olympics, Roger Bannister represented Britain, and he ran in the 1500 meter race. Now, the Olympics did not have a, a mile because they used the metric system, so this was the closest. And Roger Bannister created a British record. He ran the 1500 meters in three minutes, 46 seconds, but they did not get him a medal. He came fourth. 3 minutes 46 seconds in a mile equivalent is 4 minutes 2.5 seconds. What he said at the end of the race was very interesting. Instead of getting disheartened about it, he said this race proved to him that it was possible to break the 4 minute barrier. In 1953 at an invitational event in the UK, Roger Bannister ran the mile at 4 minutes 2 seconds. The authorities did not accept this record because it was an invitational event. Finally on the 6th of May, 1954, Roger Bannister at a race in Oxford broke the mile barrier. His time, 3 minutes 59.4 seconds. Interestingly, within the next six weeks, his fiercest competitor, John Landy from Australia, ran a race in Finland and broke the mile record again. His time, 3 minutes 58 seconds. About a month and a half later, in August of 1954, both Bannister and Landy were running together at the Empire Games at Vancouver. In a race now immortalized by a famous stone statue, where John Landy looks over his left shoulder as Roger Bannister runs across his right, both of them broke the mile barrier again. Bannister won. Now, both of them ran below four minutes. As of September 2018, 1,526 athletes had run the mile in less than four minutes. Today, the mile record stands at 3 minutes 43.13 seconds, a record set in 1999 by a Moroccan, Hisham al garouj So what changed? What changed was it was now no longer impossible. Someone had made it possible. And as soon as the world understood the possibility, as soon as athletes understood the possibility, they went and broke it. What a nice story. Where in business can you use this story? Well, when you are trying to motivate your team, into going and breaking something, a barrier that everyone around thinks it's impossible, you can share the story. We are very lucky because the entire four minute of the famous Oxford race where Roger Bannister first breaks the record is available. And you can head over to our YouTube channel to see the same. Do subscribe to our channel to keep watching these videos. And we also have now an option for you to join our Telegram group to download the video. Thanks for watching.